it is great to have you virtually connect with you in this um, afternoon today. So without talking too much, uh, because we have very limited time and there are lots to do. Um, so I'm, I'm starting with some basics, but I'm trying to go into a um, certain level um, to an average level to take, will take you in this training and to give you some idea about um, how to uh, make quizzes and so on, a model. Um, so first I would like to share with you, when I started, use Mood, uh, started to use Moodle, um, I didn't know anything. <laughs> so, but what happened when I want to make something, I just uh, searched on Google. I just tried to read on things on Mo about Moodle on Google and I just developed my knowledge um, with the time. So no one is starting with knowing, you know, to uh, um, become as an expert. Um, we need to, with the time, we need to get into the pool. We have to start uh, swimming. So at least we need to learn um, to swim. So uh, that's the first advice. So with this platform, what you can do you can start working on, um, try different things. So what we're going to do today, like creating quizzes, creating grade book. So as, a, as first step, if you haven't, um, haven't done anything uh, with this uh, sort of uh, topics that we are going to cover. So first I'm going to share my screen. Yeah. So um, we're going to look at today. As an overview, we're going to look at how to set up the gradebook in Moodle. Because gradebook is the one that has summary of your course outline, what assessment you're going to give, schedule uh, in spe your specific course and how you're going to allocate marks. So that is in this grade book. And then once you set up the grade book, you can set up the questions, quizzes. So your assignments that you're going to um, do with uh, your um, quizzes. So you can set up your questions. So it could be multiple choice questions, short answers questions, essay, missing word. So there are various types of questions in Moodle. I will show you in a minute. So it's not like um, only you can have multiple choice or short answers. There are multiple different types of questions that you can create with Moodle. And you can combine these questions at the end and you can create an example if you want. Um, and then you can mark your assessment, mark your quizzes, and also um, marking, you can set to auto grade your marking, and then also you can um, create a rubric um, for marking, and you, or you can do manual marking. So it's up to you, um, the way that you design and how you need to assess your uh, students based on different um, uh, questions. Um, and then releasing results. So how you're going to release results at the end. Yes, now, honestly, now I, even I haven't tried all different combinations of um, types of questions. So um, these, these, these are very common questions that I have tried out. So I'm going to share with you today these questions, but certainly you are welcome to ask questions and um, at the end, or you can add your question to chat uh, so we can start uh, build a conversation if we, uh, while we are doing this um, presentation for the workshop. Um, okay, so where to start? 
So its model is a huge, huge uh, e-learning platform. So where to start? That was the first question came to my mind when Kaushal asked me to do this presentation. So um, especially this is regarding assessments. Um, so I thought I'll start with your course outline. So every course outline, we have this assessment summary. So we have how we are going to allocate marks for students for different assessments and what weights we are going to allocate for them. And for each and every individual assessment, how we are going to uh, mark them, out of what mark we are going to um, allocate their, their marks. So this is a sample um, uh, assessment summary I'm going to use today in this um, uh, workshop. And I'm going to show you how I can set this particular grade book. And now it doesn't mean that this is what you have to do. When I show the steps, you can try your own um, outlines, uh, assessment summaries in your own outlines. So there is no specific strict rules. So you can try um, whatever you have in outline in your outlines. But I'm going to show you how I'm going to create this particular um, assessment summary as a grade book. So um, the next one, I thought I'll start with showing a sample grade book. Now in this sample grade book, um, we have something called category. So we can divide our assessments into categories, quizzes, Assignment. So the category basically means here assignment, quizzes, practical, take home assignment. So they are the categories. And then under the categories, we have items. So individual items. And we have weights and marks for individual items. So this, see, that's, this is not the same thing as in the assessment summary, but this is a sample. So we have individual items and we have um, categories, weights, and uh, for individual items, we have marks here. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create a category without talking too much. Let's go and create the assessment summary I had. Now, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to this test page. And when you go to this test page, um, this is what you, so this is completely empty new page. And now to do anything on this page, as you know, we need to turn editing on. And so now we can see many more things, items, gadgets, widgets in here. Now this cog or wheel. So this is a very powerful icon in any software nowadays. So if you click on this small arrow, you will see certain items here. So you can study, edit your settings of your um, book, like edit your, um, in the Moodle, the course titles and so on, and turn editing off. And also gradebook is one of the items in this list. This is the one place you can access gradebook setup. The other place is under administration area, you have gradebook setup. So two, two um, um, ways that you can access this gradebook setup. So I'll use this one. So what I'm going to do, basically I'm going to set the set this sample assessment summary as a grade book. So that's what I'm going to do. So click the grade book. So I haven't done anything here, right? So this is what you see initially, right? You can see here grade book setup, which, which we have open and post grade settings reference, reports, views, scales, letters. So there are some other tabs as well. We will go later um, to have a look. Um, but basically, 
this is what you see. So what you want now, first I want to add first as a category. So I'm going to use this button add category. So I'm going to click on this button and then I'm going to give a name. So I'm going to give a name as assignment. So this is my category name, assignments. So maximum grade is 100. So I'm giving as a value. I can make a scale, but that my decision is to give a value. And aggregation is, so you can see here, there are multiple assignments. So research paper analysis, research paper analysis and research paper discussion. So, and all are marked out of 100, but I want to get them out of 50, right? So we'll look at how we're going to do that. So I have multiple assignments, individual items in an assignment category. So I am gonna now again. You have different options. Um, I have created a um, instruction sheet. So simple weighted mean of uh, grades is the one usually we select. So it shows you the calculation. So once I finish this one, I'll show you how this is being calculated. Um, simple weighted uh, mean of grades. Um, so yeah. You can go further down and you can see maximum grade, um, whether you want to have this as hidden category. Um, and if you further go down, you will see your marks. Do you want to lock them or hidden when you want to open, hidden until you can make, click enable, and then you can um, hide this uh, category uh, data in the sense, the marks, um, hidden until the, the date that you want to um, show them. So, um, yeah, I'll come to that. I'll, uh, Prabhashini, yeah, I'll come to that question. Give me a few minutes, okay? So that is the wait. Okay, okay, thank you. No worries. So yeah, so now you have created this one and what you can do, we can save this category. So I'm saving this category. You can see now I have an assignment uh, category, but I don't have any quizzes or submissions to add, but I will leave it for a moment and I'm going to create, like, there is no specific order, but I just want you to, uh, what I'm doing first, I'm creating the categories, which is easy, and then I'm going to add the quizzes and um, individual items, basically. So the next one is quizzes. So I'm going to create that category as well. So I'm going to add category. Another category. Quizzes. Um, so I I can leave it as simple weighted mean average. Course. So that, that is this is as a hierarchy. So you can see the hierarchy here. Training on module that is your course at the top, and then you have a category, and then you are adding individual items. That's how it is. So I'm going to add that one as well. Now the other one is take home assignment. So that we can we can add it into assignment if you want, but um, you can also add as a category. So take home assignment. So now so now we can save the changes. Yeah, save changes. And again, you can just cross check the parent category to make sure that it's under your course. 
Now we can see hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. And okay, there is another one. This one here, practical. Now this is somewhere, now this could be something that you mark using use a different software and you mark it there outside, so offline, and you add marks into uh, the uh, grade book. So to add that one, you have to simply do, so you, the marks are not coming within Moodle. You add it, you mark it offline and add that particular um, item into Moodle. So what you can do, you can just add a grade item for that. So for that one, you can say practical. Um, and so you have a um, value there. Um, so value is 100 and you have same setting like before and parent category is training on Moodle and you say the changes there. Okay, looks looking good. So this is our grade book, right? But again, going back to Prabhashini's question, what should we select for aggregation if marks the research paper analysis by 50% itself? Um, so that means that could be one research paper, right? So um, I'll, there's another thing we need to add here. Again, I'll come back to that question. So here, training on model test page. Now, we, where we are adding this 50%, 100? I think that's the Prabhashini question, right? So am I correct, Prabhashini? Yes, now, um, according to you, you first give marks out of 100 and then, then convert it to 50% as of what I understand from your slide presentation. Exactly, you are correct. So, where so assume, assume, assume you are yeah. just without giving out of 100, straight away you are giving marks out of 50. Yes, now, okay, so that you can set up there, uh, but um, so here, if you are giving, like this is the now for uh, for example, for assignment. If you want to give out of uh, 50, you can set it, set that one here. In the category total, you can change it to 50. So that is there, that is the maximum grade. But I leave it um, as 100 for the moment. And I'll show you something else as well. Now training on Moodle test page, now, that is our unit, that is our course. So this, how we get these weights? Now these weights, how are we going to convert into this? Now there, we need to edit this course, set up here, and we need to change here. Now, To be weighted mean of weights. So when you do that, so the total is 100, you get here weights. So now for an example, for us here, weights, and means 50%, 10%, 10%, 10%, 30%, 30%. So I'm going to add that one. So this is 50. So you can actually, yeah, it'll, it'll, and quizzes we have um, 10 percent for both we have two quizzes so 10 percent it usually automatically calculates that value into here into this value so take home assignments um, so that is 30 percent and practical that is out of the 10 percent so this is how your 100, so aggregation of 100 out of different components will be made. Um, is it clear? Anyone has got questions? Yes, yes, uh, Dr. Manik. Now, 
So this is where we give marks straight away out of 50. Yes, like straight away out of 50 means like now this 50 out of 100 now here. So this, whatever we are adding into this category, so hmm. we are going to add different components now. For an example here, I'm going to add research paper one um, and research paper two analysis and discussion. So I'm going to add these individual items, which will aggregate into 100 and then convert it into 50. Is that usually you do like, or uh, is it clear? Like we are going to add multiple in, uh, items into these different categories. So categories are like a group. So uh, let's say in the take home assignment, yes, where you have given 30 marks. Yes. Without, without marking out of 100 or whatever and then converting into 30 can't can't we straight away mark the assignment out of 30 marks um you can um so then how would the settings be set that's my question yes. okay so instead of isn't it it is just simple grading yeah, it's a simple grading. We can go into the... Um, um, and it is automatically uh, difficult to understand because you are going to explain the two methods. Better to use one method and explain everything. As, as yeah. A, yeah. First, we'll use this method because it's... Now we can, we can calculate out of 100. We can give marks out of 100. And then you can convert it into 30. So this is, I think method this method is simple to understand so what you can do once we finish this session you can play around with it you can change this mark to 30 and then have a look is that some yes can i can i disturb for your uh, you for a minute uh, yes sir. now say like uh, we can uh, um, set the max grade uh, uh, for any amount, right? And we need to understand here the max grade we are setting here for the not for an individual item. We haven't added individual items here yet. Sorry. So we haven't added individual items as yet. Uh -huh. So this grade is for category, like assignments. I'm going to add three assignments now. Uh -huh. That is the step. So we have added the categories only. Now, if I show you from here, I have added this one, this one, this one, and this one. But I haven't added these ones yet. So individual okay. items I haven't added. I added weights. Okay. Now my question is: Now say in the uh, um, like uh, now here anyway. If uh, if we uh, calculate the total of the weights, it it is it amounts to hundred percent. No. Yes. Now say if we are having uh, for assignments, we have uh, fifty percent, and uh, for the end semester paper based examination, we are having fifty percent. So then how are we to do it? We can just leave it at 50, is it? Yes. So okay. then you have to have only two categories, assignment and the final exam. Oh, That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Clear, clear. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? I can take one question if you have. Or let's go to the next step. Okay, you can ask questions anytime. Um, so now, now I'm going to add the items. So these items. So first one, research paper analysis. So what I'll do now, 
I, now, you probably have in your um, grade book, uh, in Moodle, your um, page, you have different weeks, and you know for which week you're going to um, give your assignment. So I would say I'm going to give the first assignment, research paper analysis, in week two, so in 18th of October. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add an activity. So this is the button that I have used, add an activity or resource. Now I will add that and then, so this is research paper um, analysis. So I have to give a research paper. So it's an assignment. So what do you want them to, students to submit? You want students to submit um, in this one, in this, for this particular research paper analysis, you may need to submit them um, a, a PDF, a PDF um, document with the analysis. So if that is the case, I can create an assignment. Now, what I want to show you before going into that, so if you are in this one, training on Moodle, if you are enrolled to this one, I have put all the um, resources here, what we are doing, what we are going to do now. So I have added assignment, one case study. So if you can download this, that would be great. Uh, if not, you can use anything that you have. Uh, but when you're going to do quizzes, I'll encourage you to download some of these um, files so we can use, we can experiment with different, different types of ways of creating the quiz. So I am going to go to my other course. Um, now here, so I'm going to add the activity. So activity is an assignment. So I'm going to give them um, an assignment that they have to analyze and produce a um, research analysis. So now I can name this one research paper analysis. So one, if you want to add any description, you can add that description here. Um, that means you can say that please submit your um, files as a PDF or make sure that um, to add references or whatever the details that you want to specify. You can actually specify within the file as well, but if you want to specify it, um, if you want to, um, Want let want to see want them to see it um, straight away. You can add them here. Now I have some PDF files here, so I'm going to add that PDF file here. Okay. So the, for assignments, now we have certain settings. So you can set the submission when to start the su submissions. So due date, is there is a due date that you want to close this link? Um, and whether there's a cutoff date, then after that, so you finish the due date and you give two days after them to submit, but you take some marks out, penalty. So this is, this is actually new. Um, so remind me to grade by, so it's a reminder to me. And also you can um, specify submission types. So you can say that file submission and what is the size and maximum submission size. And you can actually say that what sort of files um, you, can, you can allow. So document files, uh, and PDF, so then you can actually specify that one here. Um, and feedback types. So this is how you're going to give the feedback. So 
you need do you need to have it um, you need to give comments or you need to annotate if it is a pdf file you need to add notes there um, or you whether you need to upload a pdf uh, or any feedback files as a pdf so there are different ways that you can provide the feedback and submission settings um, yeah so if you if you make if you uh, select yes here so they need to press the submit button to submit the assignment otherwise it will save as a draft so um, sometimes this is tricky most of the students in my based on my experience they forget to submit this uh, submit button so you have to you will you will be able to see that as a draft and then you have to ask them to submit so yeah so if you if you want to um, give them like okay um, submission statement saying that I have not copied or you know I have not taken it from any way such a statement you can add there so if you want to um, you can set like sometimes students uh, submit the uh, wrong file so and then after submission they come and say oh I have accidentally um, submitted the wrong file so um, you can manually open that link and um, say uh, allow them to submit so such different settings so this set the the Moody has multiple different settings if there's a group submission you can allow that submission before that you have to create the group um, yeah so about gradings about submissions usually this is no because we want them to see it all at once okay now here, here is the trick. So um, that is now for this assignment, we have 100 points as in PowerPoint I showed you. So maximum grade is 100 and it's a simple grading. So you go into each and every assignment and grade it and grade category. Now this is the tricky point. Now you need to link this assignment to the category that you have created in the grade book. So now if you um, click on this, um, these arrows, you will see the categories you have created. So I'm, I'm creating the first assignment for students. So that should go under assignments category. So if you have a hurdle to pass for them to get that mark, you can add that mark here. Usually like uh, we do some courses we need the students need, need to have 50%. Um, yeah, so uh, if you don't want to show them that who marked, uh, you can use these options. Um, and yeah, so, um, and also uh, show on course page, if you want to give an ID um, and group, no groups here, if you want to give this for specific groups, uh, and also if you want restrict access, so you can create this uh, rest, uh, access restriction in different um, categories. They create user profile or restriction, you can add a set. So the creating set is advanced stuff. Uh, tags um, also you can, you have to create previously. So if you uh, categorize, for an example, you can categorize these assignments as advanced, moderate or for different courses probably so you can create those tags and you can actually add these to those tags so you tag them this is an advanced this is a um, course for bachelors so this is for masters like that uh, just to um, distinguish them so the purpose is grouping here uh, competencies also you can create here um, if you click here, so yeah, so these options you can try uh, once you uh, know how to do the basic settings. So I'm going to create this assignment now. So I'm going to um, save. So this is what you see. So when students will submit, you will see the submissions and you can go and click on all submissions. So this is our first assignment, the IPated research paper analysis. 
let's go to the grade book and see how we, um, this, this is um, um, the settings and you can go to the grade book and see how we um, see this assignment I have created. Now you can see here under the assignment, I can see research paper analysis one. So this is how, this is why, why I told before, we are creating different layers. So this, this is our first layer, the course or the unit, or the, then I'm creating different categories. So within categories, I have subcategories, sub items. So I have created the first one. Now, okay, before moving forward, do you have any questions with that? Fine. So I will move further. So I gave my first assignment in the second week. So I'm going to give the second assignment. I'm going to repeat the same. The next one I'm going to um, do a different one. So I'm going to give my um, next assignment. So see, I have a due date created and everything, so which is good. And um, the second assignment I'm going to give on 26th of so the fourth week, basically. So assignment submission and added. So I'm going to say now uh, research paper analysis two. So you can add any description. I'm going to use my second file. Um, second file here. Um, by the way, are you doing it with me? Are you following me? Are you trying this in your computers? Okay, thanks for watching. I hope everyone is doing. Um, yeah, just um, you can stop me, ask questions. I'm happy to answer if I know. I'm happy to share what I know. So uh, just uh, tell me. So I'm going to add the second assignment here. Assignment two, case study. So these these are actually, if you want, we have them here in in the in the other. I'm grabbing that one. Now it is there. So again, I can um, set the submission date from and due date. I can give one month if I if the based on your criteria and feedback type. If you want to annotate PDF, if you want to add PDF file, uh, feedback files um, and everything. So don't forget when you do this, the important uh, thing, important setting that you need to change is the grade. So you need to select the points, maximum grade. And now there are different options for grading. So one example I gave you is uh, in the other course, other module page, is the um, rubric one. So you can go and create a rubric assign, uh, rubric for assignment. So rubric and like we just do very simple uh, rubric and then um, uncategorized select the category. Then this is the link between your gradebook and the assignment mark that will be. So I'm not going to explain others. So we, are, we need to set the rubric. So I'm going to, when you save. Okay, so. Okay, this day different. So we reduce that into 18. That's fine, rubric seven display. Okay, so this is the place you, now it will take you to the, as the second step, 
to fill the rubric. So you can define new grading from the scratch. That's what I'm going to do. The other place that you can access the rubric is here. So you can see here, advanced grading. So here, define rubric. So if you accidentally it doesn't come up or it didn't pop up, you can go to um, administration um, and then uh, you can go to go and see whether there's something popping up there as advanced grading. So you can click on the define rubric and then you will come to this page. So I'm quickly going to create a rubric. So um, I can say research paper analysis rubric. Um, so this is two. Um, yeah. So rubric, and you can add some here. And now, if you have a description there, usually rubrics, you can, you have to um, have a template. So um, I will just have completeness of the answer or something like, um, you, can, you can think like you have, usually for me, when I created rubrics, I had them in, an, in a spreadsheet. So it has to be a bit detailed because the person who's going to mark this using this rubric, we need like sort of need to ha have an understanding how the how this specific scale you're going to allocate. So um, I can say poor. So if it is poor, what is the mark you're going to allocate? One mark or two marks or zero. So I put one mark here. So I can say average. So that is something. So if it is average, I'm going to give five marks. It depends on again, how many points you have for that particular question. So imagine I have one question in this. Or if you have multiple questions, what you can do here, you can add question one and you're right here. So question one and your criteria, completeness or whatever. So I'm not going to that detail, but you can create multiple criteria as you can add. So this is completeness and um, I'm going to remove the question one and completeness and average and good. So I'm not sure whether you um, have seen in my uh, sign, the my setup, I have I have um, five. So very poor, poor, average, good, and excellent. So that is a, the scale. My scale um, has five options. So it's up to you. You can create. So we can say accuracy. Um, so it's um, it's just the way that you want to. Um, add marks. So it comes now. So you can see, you can see the, the marks are coming now. So it's automatically coming average and good. So I'm not taking too much time and I'm going to save. So this rubrics now save with the assignment too. So you can have, uh, when someone submit, an assignment so you see the rubrics. I'll show that in the other course. Um, and again, if I go to now, um, so you can see here define rubric as well for this particular um, assignment. And if I go to gradebook now, I see the in my setup, I see the second course under assignment, say second assignment, sorry, so under assignments. So uh, now one, two, the third one. So third one is also out of 100. So research paper discussion. So you want to have students to engage uh, in, a, in a discussion online, we can do that as well. So now again, when we need to start that discussion is in our, um, as in our outline. So suppose 
mid um, semester, I need to start a discussion about some topic. Um, so, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, so here. So I'm going to add an activity or resource. So um, if it is a discussion, I can open it as a forum, uh, asking questions um, like that. And um, so I can add the forum here. I think I'm using the right um, component here. Um, yeah. So uh, this is paper discussion. So, so you can share the research paper separately as a file um, if you want. If you want, if it is a small research papers are not small, but so you can share it separately. And this is the uh, forum to discuss about the um, paper. Um, so again, the connection uh, points are with the grading. Uh, so you need to connect this with the assignment and then um, save it. And so there are different other options. You can do rating and stuff like that. So you can, um, you can now add the question here to discussion forum. Um, so um, you can say uh, question one. Um, so what do you think about X? Uh, about X something. Um, so post to forum. So now students, participants will come and you know, share their ideas. So you can see the grade uses here. So you can actually grade them. Um, now, if I go back to my uh, now, uh, grade book uh, setup, so this is another way you can go there. So here you can you have the grades. So this is by clicking at grade, you are going to read a report. So here, from here, from using this tab, you can go to setup. And also, if you click here, setup grade book. So because you can see how important the grade book is. Now you can see here, I have research paper and analysis one, research paper analysis two, um, and also the forum. Um, for research paper discussion. And now this, all these are marked off out of 100, and then that will be calculated, whatever you, the marks that you are giving out of 100 will be calculated out of 50 for this whole assignments category. Um, just a question, am I fast? Am I slow or is it okay? No responses. So it's okay. Yeah, going well. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Professor Dilekaratna. Um, now, um, thank you. So, yeah, so this is now grade book. Um, I have set up my assignments. So now next step is Go, I'm going to go and set up quizzes. So I have two quizzes as in my um, PowerPoint. So quiz one and quiz two. So um, now quizzes is a, um, as I told you, within quizzes also there are different categories. So what we need to be, what we need to make sure that how we organize them, how to create a quiz bank. You can create a question bank. So how to create that question bank, 
and how we can reuse the questions if we need. So all, all things are possible with model. Um, now, what I'm going to ask, okay. So what I'm going to do first, um, I'm going to show you creating a quiz. So uh, this one, I'm going to go into a week. Example, what December, which is, okay. So in between these two assignment here in this week, I'm going to add a quiz. So how I can add a quiz, I'm going again, okay, add an activity or resource. So then I have different options from these options that I have, I can go and add a quiz. So this is the quiz that I'm going to add. Now quizzes can be added manually, one by one. That's what I'm going to show you first. So I'm going to um, show quiz, um, quiz one. Uh, quiz one, and we can add a description here if you need. So similar settings like uh, assignments. So you can see timing, then to open the quiz. So you can make that, that available. Like if you are doing online examination or something. So this is a very good um, uh, setting that you need to know. Then you need to open. Okay, you're going to start, it, start the quiz at three o'clock. So then um, 2.46, 56, we can open it um, like that. And if you if it is two hours, hours then we can close the quiz um, at that time and so on. So, um, so again, this grade setting is very, very important. Now, what I'm going to connect this quiz with the quizzes in category in our uh, grade book setup. Um, now this is interesting here, how many attempt, attempts you are going to give students to complete this um, quiz. Um, so you can have multiple attempts or one attempt. So if you go for multiple attempts, so then Moodle is asking from you, what is the method? So if I have three attempts, are you going to get highest grade or the average grade or the first attempt or the last attempt? So you have these options if you have if you if you are giving multiple attempts for students. So in my cases, usually I am giving one attempt, but it's up to you. Um, yeah. So now layout every question can be a one page. So this is how we need to paginate the questions. So how, in a page, uh, how many questions do you need to have? So initially in this setup, set it as every question, but you can, you can change that later. Um, so behavior, question behavior, do you want to shuffle within the question, the answers, and uh, how questions behave? Do you want to give feedback at that time? and so on, um, you need to give further feedback, uh, options there, and this is very, very important as well, review options. So you can see that during the attempt, during the attempt, we don't need to give anything. Students need to uh, try their question, and immediately after the attempt, now this is a bit tricky because now it says whether the correct or wrong, the answer that they have given, do you need to say that? Um, so if you need to say that, you can take this. And do you want to mention the marks immediately after the thing? Uh, and is there any specific feedback? Like for an example, if the question is correct, you want to say, oh, well done, fantastic. You have done a great job. So to individually, to questions and general feedback. So once finished everything are giving, well done. So that you want to give. And this is, a, this is the tricky one, right answer. So do you want to give the answer immediately after? Now if you are thinking that, okay, 
you submit the question, uh, question, uh, your question answer, and then you see, okay, this is the answer. So probably someone who has not attempted uh, the question, quiz, um, like students can share first, first question is answer is this. So if like, it's a bit tricky, but you know, it's up to you if you, um, if you want, you can uh, take that one. So basically I'm taking that one. So uh, marks probably, uh, immediately I don't want to give them. Um, uh, yeah, so these ones you can try. So immediately what you want to do. So later while the question is still open, um, you can, yeah, marks probably I'll remove these stuff um, from here. So after quiz is closed, now this one, because I don't have a close date, um, probably if I have, yeah, so um, close date seventh. Now I have after the quiz is closed. So the number, the attempts so or first or second, whether the, so the whether the correct or wrong the answer, uh, marks I can give if you want specific feedback, but if still you don't want to give the right answer, you can uncheck. So these are different settings you can try out. So if you don't want to give the right answer, even after quiz is closed, uh, and you want to discuss it in the class, not just to show them. So um, yes, yeah, so it's up to you. Um, yeah, so these are just, um, yeah, just know general settings that we really don't ch change often. Um, so if you want to give an overall feedback based on, okay, someone got 100 for the quiz. You want to give very, you know, encouraging and very cheering uh, sort of um, um, message feedback and uh, you can add more. So you can, you can say that, okay, 80% what you want to say, 70%. Uh, so you can further add feedbacks here. Uh, so restricting competencies tags, uh, they're there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save the settings, save and display. Now this is the, the quiz at the top layer, uh, the quiz settings that we have uh, um, designed. Now, um, so you get the details, the attempts allowed, the quiz opened at Friday and the quiz will close on Saturday. So the, these details you will be able to see here. Now this link, once you created this link, this quiz, the link is showing in the students' uh, their pages, but model page, but they can't really open it. They can't go into the quiz. They can't see the questions basically. So now I'm now in this one still we don't have questions to see. I'm going to edit the quiz, right? So you can click here, or you can click this wheel, or here you have edit quiz. So there are multiple places that you can actually locate the option. So now I this is just a blank quiz. I don't have any questions here. So if you want. What I want to do next, I have to add one by one questions uh, to this um, quiz. You think so? It's hard, uh, but we'll see how to, how to, um, we'll try to find some shortcuts. Um, but before that, I'm just going to add a new question and I'm going to show you how I can add questions one by one first. So multiple choice questions, I'm going to add a multiple choice question and I'm going to add this question. Okay. So when I add this question, um, so um, so default for quiz one. So you can see here categories category, right? Now these categories we can create as well. So these categories we can create and we can group 
these questions into these categories. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to create the categories. So you can see the question bank because when we add questions into Moodle to the quiz, um, it'll create a question bank. So before creating my question bank, if I can group them, it's easy for me. If I can group my advanced questions into a one category, if I can group my show, uh, average types of questions to one category, not only that, if you want to um, group your multiple choice into one category, essay questions into one category, case studies into one category, that is the option, categories. So I'm going to click on category because I can come to quiz anytime. And um, so I, I'm going to add a category. I'm going to add new category. Um, so what I'm going to do now, this is, you can see that there are uh, levels as well, course, training, model. That's a, that's the, that's the, that's a course. And we have default for training model. So what we can do, what I can do, I can add a, um, another category for one of these levels. So tips for training model test page. So that is a, um, a course one. So I'm going to, under that, I'm going to add ad hoc questions. So but you can have your own um, meaningful categories. So you can add just, um, and I'm going to add the ad hoc category here. And you can see ad hoc category is here now. Now I'm going to go to quiz. So I'm going to access quiz from here now. So again, I have edit quiz. Okay, so now I'm going to add a new quiz again. So my quiz is going to be multiple choice. Um, I'm thinking of a question now. Question name. So here again, the category. I'm going to add my question to ad hoc questions. So it's question one. And um, what's the question? Um, okay. Um, it's really, I have some questions here. Let's see if I can get that question without um, thinking of something. Um, so, Oh, I just um, adding a question. What is the day today? So, so this is the question that I'm adding. So, what is the day today? So the um, default mark. So how many marks you're giving to that question? So now this is the general feedback. If you want to appear, um, if they give correct answer. Um, so, but you can um, say that, okay, well done. So you can add anything, fantastic, this semicolon, the explanation, so anything here. And then you can um, um, say that one answer or multiple answer. Now for this question, just one answer. But if you have multiple answers, you can actually divide 50%, 50% in between to create that one mark. Um, so number of choices, one, two, three, um, how you want to show them in the interface. Um, yeah, so um, I just put ABC because I have, um, so the, now this is the feedback for every question. So you can say you, you, every option, like if I select this one and this is the correct answer, so I can say your answer is correct or something. Um, so something like that. So 
it's if if the like this is the other one and then the second one and now if you give if the if the choice one is the first answer you have to give 100 percent so that one mark um and choice two is b and so the the if that is wrong so you can see minus as well uh, uh, as well so you can see none here so no marks and you can see here wrong answer so it's 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 actually um the way that you want to give any feedback so this is the specific feedback the other ones the this is the general feedback once everything finished if you um yeah so it's and um, i'm going to you see and um so now no marks um and yeah so um D. Yeah, so uh, if you want, if you have many choices, my different many choices, you can add them here. Um, and I save changes and just so this is how you see the question. So, what is the date today? Uh, and you can see here the question um, mark. And also, this is important as well, like maximum grade. So what is the maximum mark you want to give? Now, in the, for the quizzes, we decided that for one quiz, it's 10 marks. So you can add 20 questions, then you have to change here, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and but you get 10 marks. So that is the um that is the maximum grade now it is connected with the this is connected with the grade book uh, if you go to grade book um these ones will be added automatically so you can go to administration course administration see it's very nicely aligned now so this 10 mark is here quiz one we have one question, we have to add question, uh, questions there, but quiz is in quizzes category. So we have 10 marks on the second quiz we need to add. So altogether 20 marks will be um, converted into 10 out of total, wait, total, uh, total for the course. Um, Okay, so this is our great book now. So um, it's, um, we are building- I have one question. Yes. I can't hear yes. you. I have one question, please. Uh, now, yeah. regarding that overall feedback, you said that uh, if you put that 100 marks, that is very good or something like that, we can put that overall feedback for 80% good, 75% good. Can you put yeah. the range? For example, now over 75, 75 to 100 is very good or something like that. Yeah, so if you add it here, um, red boundary. Um, so this is, it will automatically create the range. So the 80 percent. My question is clear or? Yes, your question is clear. So um, it's actually this one zero to 50. So it's a range. So this is 100, between 180, so it's a boundary. Manik, where is it? Uh, we have to put it is on overall feedback uh, option, isn't it? Yes, this is overall feedback. So this is actually a range, considering a range. So 
so like if you add here 50 so so um, oh, this is correct yeah yeah yeah, yeah so that okay that's one is 80 that means if someone get the 90 that means that 80 yeah this feedback will be given whatever you are writing yeah fantastic um whatever you have done very well you are such an achiever whatever you write here will come there and here if you want to say like hey, you want to try more you want to try hard so it's between zero to 40. is it fine shall we move on okay so um now um now what i'm going to do i'm going to um review the yeah, it's a great boundary not that exact 80 percent no yes yes boundary so it's it's actually range um okay um so um now it's a b b d that's that's how it's it has come so like if i now this is based on actually settings um, you can actually s select um one here and finish attempt so until close um, until the quiz is closed we don't get the um the response here um but the thing is that uh, if you change the settings, this is going to change like what you mentioned in what I have written. Now, this is the answer. So if I click that answer, it will say here, you are correct. So if I select something else, it will say wrong answer. So that feedback you will get here. So you can see that. As well. So this is how you preview the question that we have created um, and finish attempt and submit. So it's, yeah, so we don't have all the questions here, but um, this is how students will see. So you'll get the general one, well done, um, because we actually, have that in our settings. We said that to see the, once you finish, immediately you will see the general uh, comment. Um, so, I mean, it's all you can play around with these settings um, and then you will, um, because it's so many different options, settings and uh, combinations of settings. So it's basically um, good to, um, play around with these settings by doing only you will uh, understand and get familiar more and more with this tool this is a fantastic tool um, uh, to use model uh, free and i like the colors and interface and everything which is so much white and very distinguish uh, the um, all the settings and everything okay so we go back to the quiz now we need to um, edit the quiz uh, again. Um, now, when we edit the quiz, we can add um, questions here. Um, now the, the thing is that you can't, this is like you're adding individual questions, question by question to the quiz. So what, what, I, I am trying to understand, like, if I'm doing it, if I'm trialing this out, um, what comes to my mind is, okay, can we, can we please import or can we add our questions into this as a bulk, as 10 to 15 or 100 questions at once? How can I do that? So I can do that. 
So how I'm going to do um, it uh, using different uh, file format. So if I go to our Moodle and social media tools um, course, I have created, uh, some instructions files there, instruction files there, and also template files there you can try out. So how to create a question bank in Moodle? So that is here. And now the type of the file is Aiken file. So we call that file as Aiken. So you can do it, you can use Notepad++, Notepad or Word, um, but you need to save the file as a text file. So the quiz must be in a text file and it has to be need to format the in a specific way. Um, so Word helps you to do this, um, uh, but you can save, you can copy it into a uh, notepad and then save because notepad doesn't carry all the specific special characters that uh, we might uh, have in Word. So the quiz questions can also occupy one line um, text on the page. So th this is the first question um, of the uh, of your um, quiz, and then we have we have A B C D the options and the answer. So answer this this answer word should be capital, should be in capital letters. And what is the answer? And um, so all the instructions are there how you want to format this file. Um, so you can use these options so text files. So you want to save it as a text document and you can use this UTF-8 um, uh, encoding just to make sure that there are no special characters in it. Um, yeah, so what I have done, the first file here, quiz one, a template file. So you can open that and this is already formatted. So I have copied some questions from here and there. So then I have created this file and now I'm going to show us the next step, um, how you can upload this to, the, this to your question bank and how to create a question bank. Now the question is, uh, you may not, everyone might not have enrolled to this, this course here. So what I can do, I'm going to, um, I'm going to add this file here uh, to check if possible. Let me see the document. I've got to check. Um, One big too long, the other things a second. So, yeah, so I have added that file. So, use Notepad to open this file or Notepad plus plus either. And so, here as well, Notepad plus plus. Yeah, so Notepad++ will be neater if you are not very um, um, comfortable with Notepad. So, um, so this one I have added to the chat to everyone. So you can see that one. Um, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this uh, Aiken template file to uh, my um, question bank. So you can um, see the question bank from here. So this cog or the bell icon, you can click and you can click on more and then it will show you the question bank and this is the questions. That, so it has to have um, one question in the ad hoc questions. So uh, 
that is the question that I have added previously. So um, now, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to create multiple uh, uh, choice questions. So I'm going to add a new category to this one. So parent category, I'm going to use again, um, talk for training on Moodle. Um, and then I'm going to say multiple uh, choice questions. And then um, I'm going to add this category. You can give an ID number um, just to, when you refer back, it will be good. But, um, yeah. So I have multiple choice questions here. Now I'm going to open and import this MCQ questions from the file. Um, so I'm going to go to in, use an import option. So I'm going to click this import here under question bank. So you, there are two ways that you can actually see the question bank options from under your administration tab, or you can use this wheel here. So I'm going, I'm doing, going to this administration and I'm going to click import here. So now when you say uh, click on import, you will see different types of um, files that you can use in order to upload your questions to Moodle. Now, um, so I'm not sure whether this is true still, but um, when I work with, when I was working with Moodle, uh, Moodle has the highest number of options to um, import files questions to the question bank. So I'm going to use Aiken format. So I have to select the format type. Um, and now this is hidden, but this is important. Now we are not going to add our questions to ad hoc questions. Instead, I'm selecting multiple choice questions. So my question, these questions will be in that category. So if I'm adding another set of multiple choice questions i can add them here and if you want to categorize multiple choice questions again as an as a hierarchy like advanced questions simple questions moderate questions you can create categories under these um multiple choice questions categories so when you when you create a, a quiz with 10 questions, if you want to, you can then select, okay, from advanced category for questions, moderate category for questions, simple to, or vice versa. It's a, like a mix of uh, these ratios you can mix. So, yeah, so um, error if grade not listed. So if it is not updated to give an error, this file hopefully we don't have error so stop an error yes we need to stop otherwise we will have duplicate records there so now i'm going to now the second this step is very important otherwise we will have a messy bank uh, question bank so i'm going to add this question quiz to here or you can browse from here as well this file and then um hopefully we won't have any others um so then click on the import. So there are no errors, questions from import file, importing 10 questions from file, and then I can click on continue. Now, if there is an error, don't worry, go back and it will show up to, okay, four, and then it will say that after that it won't um, upload it. So errors are very natural stuff with this work. So it's all okay. Go and check the template and see the rules and just go and fix them and come back. So it could be multiple times. That's fine. That's that's fine. It takes a bit of a time, but um, uh, that is very common to have errors. Um, so now multiple choice questions category, I have 10 questions. Now, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going back to go to my quiz. I'm going to add some of these questions into my quiz. Um, yeah, 3rd December, I open my quiz. Uh, so now I want to edit my quiz. So you can edit from here. You can edit from, edit quiz from, um, when you get, uh settings we'll go from here edit settings so this is uh sorry question setting a quiz setting so i'll go to quiz yeah so when i go to quiz here edit quiz is here so all the all the hog you will have so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add questions from here, add from question bank. So now I'm not going to create each question one by one. I'm going to add from the question bank. So when there are no questions in this bank, but I have added questions to multiple choice questions bank. So I can see the questions and I'm adding simply these questions I need to add to so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm not adding one because I have one there. I want to have 10 questions. So add selected questions to the quiz. Simple. Now we see the uh, questions. Now, um, this mark, so you can see every question has one mark. It has an answer and uh, so on and then now this mark here, so what you can do, you can move these questions and you can make it into a one page, like you, five questions in a one page or four questions in a one page. So you, you are um, creating that uh, questions into, um, you know, group. You group the questions. Otherwise it will be one page, you have one question. Again, it's up to you. Um, this is how I prefer. Like I, I prefer to have um, questions, few questions in, in a one page. So, but it's up to you how you design and um, um, you can again uh, file and error that one. Um, so, um, export questions from um, one uh, unit to other. I haven't done it, but um, when you ask the question, um, what I thought I can export the questions and import them. Um, and probably your uh, admin can do that. If there's a Moodle admin, Moodle admin can do that uh, transfer. So um, that's something you can check with. I, I don't think it is impossible. It should be possible because this is in a one repository, so it should be, um, but um, yeah. So um, it's a good question as well. And yeah, so um, yeah, so now what we can do, if you want to, um, look at the preview of these questions so you can preview that so these are now the so i have one two three four in one question and then go to next page or i have i can navigate through here so the next page i have four questions and next page i have two questions so like that um you can navigate from here or here there's a button so you can go to previous um, and going backward and forward so um, yeah so that is the creation of quizzes now we have 10 questions in the quiz we didn't take too much of time we just uploaded um, and then we added the questions there so it is uh, very straightforward but um, when you, when sometimes when you get errors, you feel like, oh, this is not possible, but it's not that it's possible because computer or the model understands it in that format. So you need to fix that into that format. 
uh, it's not intelligent as humans to understand okay if you if you miss a, a space or a line this is it so it's that's the reason so we just need to go back and fix the errors then then our process will become easy now the next um, next step is again you can go to a grade book and have a uh, um okay so we can use in uh, any other formats so any other formats um like aiken is a, is actually text file so if you save it as, as a text file um, like within Moodle, it identifies the file as Aiken because the way that you have formatted it. So it's not. Um, um, so Mac, um, so Saumya, what you're saying, text is uh, not possible in Mac. Text is text files are possible, right? I know that Notepad plus plus version with Mac. Yeah, um, but um, Mac is very, very good. <laughs> but the problem is, uh, yeah, so we have, we have, um, we have Atom in Mac for Mac OSs. Uh, that's the editor, like Notepad. So if you can try that app to create uh, the text file um, and if you can see that because text is very general format. Um, format. So I think yeah it's, it depends on the the, um, the editor you use. So Atom is one um, I know it's a bit, um, bit, uh, uh, bit hard to use. Um, or we use we used to use vi editor but that's also a bit different um the way that you need to type and stuff um yeah um we save it as a text file and within Moodle it identifies the file as uh Aiken. so that's that's the beauty of it like we we don't save it with any extension the it's a basic text file so um i recommend you to use some text editor so there is a, there are a few uh, text editors for mac mac green text editor um, um yeah so yeah thank you yes so um okay so let's go to the uh grade book again so i'm going to grades because this is how usually i practice i'm going to grade i see the students here and then i go to set up so i see the grade reports if they have submission mark and everything so quiz is still there so we'll add the second quiz linking to quizzes and um that uh, so we created it 3rd October, 31st December. We created the second one, um, 31st of December, the end of the, end of the year. So I'm going to add another activity. Now, before that, um, if you, you might have seen that in the previous example, when I created question manually, there was an option that um, you can actually give different um, gradings. Like, if it is if it is answer is correct, you get fifty percent. Like this question is like my own question. Radium was isolated in its metallic state by Marie Curie and Curie. So the, 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 that's these are the questions answers. Sorry. So so if you give the correct answer, you get. 50 
uh, percent and if you give the second correct answer you get 50 percent so then that will add up to 100 so this sort of question sometimes you give to students to try um, to for them to try out multiple answers so multiple choice and multiple choices you are giving and then to select multiple answers so and also the same time if you want if they give the wrong answer you will deduct their marks so um so for an example if i give this select this and this i'll get zero i don't get any marks so this is all now it's stage stages open these are different options now it's 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 your try now you can try out and create a, a sample or the um, sample quiz ask your tutor to try out and see how it look like students how they see it and also how the grading marks and things happen so that's that's some of the options i did i'm sharing with you so now i'm going to add this one also to uh, the zoom um, chat and then you can we can try this one out um, and again this is in the um in the uh in our site as well okay we'll talk about quiz randomization it's more like um because there's a question from uh, dan and Jenny. um it's uh, you can add random questions you can shuffle these uh, choices um randomization is uh, not something i have uh, tried too much um so um but still we can give random questions um we can select random questions and then we can um uh, we can add them uh, for students to try so i'll show you how we can add that random uh, question so if i add an activity and then um, from the question bank for an example so i'm going to add this quiz so this is my second quiz so, uh, timing and grade so timing you can set the times to start to close we'll now just go with this very without changing too much um, then i can show a few things uh, to you um so the this is um grading so one link one um allowed so review options and not changing anything so questions question behavior you can shuffle the answers and um, um you can specify this so I'm not going to change too much here, review options, and I'm going to save this quiz. Um, okay, so now I, I get chance to edit quiz. So the, because you have asked randomization, so we can, uh, we can add random questions from the question bank as well. So we'll come to that point. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create um, um, different category um, for um, question bank because this is this is different type of questions. So this is like um, multiple choice, but multiple answers. So I'm going to say multiple choice. Uh, um, answers so you can have um many 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 of them um so i'm going to add 
this one so i have that category here so don't think that i'm adding too many categories because i'm what i'm trying to do i'm trying to group my questions so that will be easier for me to when i'm picking the question so questions so that's the art of it so um then i'm just grouping it so um i'm going to again going back to my this Okay, so I'm going to import. That's the next step. So I'm not going to the quiz. So I'm going to import the questions. Okay, now just I want to tell you something. This this type you if you carefully look at the quiz questions here, this is formatted differently. Open curly bracket, close curly bracket, and then you have hyphen percentage mark so this format is different so this is not aiken format so this is this this that sort of a file within um model identifies that file as gift file format so you need to select gift format when you import that sort of questions uh, question file so i'm going to add it here um and then i'm going to import so when you get errors if you are now these are i tried them out and it's properly formatted but i'm just telling you it's very normal i'm just i i think i missed a step can anyone tell what is the step i missed i think i missed a step I didn't select the category. So that is very, very important when you um, import. So if I go to question bank, uh, so you can see now this is in default for training module one. So instead I want to have them here. So, yeah. so you, you can select them and move to um, um, multiple choice and multiple. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, so now they are in this category. So it's always good to organize them in that way. Um, okay, so the quiz two now. Yeah, we can create quiz two now. Um, you can simply go to that uh, quiz and then add. I, I can show you. So you, this is your quiz one. So what you can do, you can go and edit. So there's a question. I'm just talking without the context. Sorry about that. So if you want to go and um, if you like this is quiz one, we have 10 questions. If you want to add another question, now the question um, you want to add, you can go here, a new question and add the question, it's simple. So, um, so that's possible and I'm going to go to create my second piece. Okay, this time I'll create that, okay. So now um, edit and um, yeah, so this is actually editing my um, quiz. So I can go into the quiz and then edit the quiz. So, okay, so now I'm going to add from the question back. So you can add random as well, um, you can select questions. But we have only two questions, so it's not really making sense to add them as random. So, so you just say random question, and it will come here. So um, that's one way to add a random question to your quiz. Um, so it this one now, if you look at here, there is no question here. 
um, it's the it's random question from that category so that's sort of an answer for um, um, sort of an answer for uh, I think Banerjee's question so within category you can add random questions like that sorry I missed one your question um, Um, mathematical questions. Um, now that is a <laughs> bit tricky for me to answer. I don't think it's not not possible. It should be possible because why I'm saying so. My background is IT, so we don't add too much mathematical questions <laughs> into Moodle. Um, um, but the 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 point here, you can create. Um, you can be you won't like we need a bit of a searching on that question one um, but what uh, what we can do what i can probably in the next session i will try to see whether uh, try to come up with an answer for your question um, because mathematical terms and creating an icon format uh, to me now it's it something can be done. Why I'm saying the basis that I'm saying that it can be done. Um, when you try to add a question here, so these are the types of questions that we can create. So we have um, uh, multiple uh, calculated, calculated multiple choice. So all these types should be possible, but. Um, I can answer, I can have a look and answer the, uh, to that question next time when we uh, have the next session. Um, if you if it's all right. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, add the other question. Now it's a bit randomized, so I'm not sure whether um, I'll get the same question, by, but I just add that question. So we have one random question. So it will come in two pages. So, um, okay, so now I can preview these questions. So now it's in two questions in two different pages. So first one is randomized. Um, so, so I'm not sure the answers I'm just uh, picking. And um, yeah, so. So you can see that I didn't select this, this question I selected previous one was not. So um, now, yeah, so we can return to attempt. I think I didn't, um, yeah. So you can see now the answers here and the uh, feedback. So once you submit, so no, so no incorrect, yes, but there's more. So you need to select some another option. Um, so you can see here, um, you have only one mark because you have, this is zero because one correct, one wrong. And then this is uh, 50, 50, so one mark I have got. Um, so this is the preview once you submit the answers and the feedback you see. Okay, so you can start another preview, like you, you can actually do them and see what's coming. So this is quiz two. Um, so I'm going back to quiz two and make sure that I, okay, I'll check that with you all, which is, um, so in my course administration, grade book setup, um, yeah, quiz one, quiz two, so all good. It's under quizzes category. And um, yeah, so I have take home assignment and the practical. So which is, which is now sort of, um, you know, um, my grade book sort of completed that I have started in my course outline. As my course outline, I have created my grade book now. Look at here, look at this. So I have um, research paper analysis one, and so research paper analysis two, and paper discussion, 
and quizzes, take home assignment and practical. So if you want to pay take home assignment as a, um, it's different ways that it's a submission link. They want to submit again, we need to follow this uh, sort of research paper analysis. Um, the way that we have created research paper analysis um, item. So um, we'll quickly do that and then um, we'll go back to grading. That's, that's the next interesting thing. Um, yeah, so um, make take home assignment. So I go to January first week. Mm -hmm. Add an item assignment. I'm not going to change too much here. I just want to show you the um, the grade book. Uh, so if uh, yeah, so I'm just going to upload one of the instruction files here. Um, and also, if you want to follow the instructions to create a, a bank, you can follow this. This uh, here, you can see the instructions step by step. So, due date is the, yeah. So, the important setting is grading. You need to link. So, linking it with the, um, Um, so take home assignment that category and save and display. So we we can add to Dropbox. Yeah, so um, now I'll save this and yeah, check on the same. So, what we can do here, um, I'm just I connected it with uh, my main point is with grading and like marking guide and the rubric the difference is rubric is a metric so um you have x and y so marking guide is just one axis so um that's the difference so, okay so yeah I'll quickly go now for grading. Are we following or it's too much? Yes, sir. we are following. The thing is in some places it's heavily raining and thundery. So I think so it's it has impact even here. Uh, it's raining heavily. Okay. Um, how shall I have what you can we do yes, I think now we have done so many things i think uh, uh, we also i to my place also it is uh, now uh, raining and thundering so uh, some uh, some members also inform me that uh, it is raining and they are going to disconnect so actually we have done uh, so much of things uh, and you have sent some uh, files even and also you have uh, uploaded uh, the reading materials to the uh, the training on Moodle uh, the, the page that we have created so let's uh, is it okay Amina Miss and Narda sir we will wind up for uh, this session for the moment and we'll continue in the yes I think it's better the members can practice the things what we have discussed today it was a very really interesting session even we, we were knowing those things there were many minor things for us to uh, know as new things 
Yes, and also uh, uh, mm -hmm. another sir that uh, uh, Dr. Manik has suggested uh, to keep this uh, page as a resource page. Uh, so we yeah, can... we will we will do like that. No problem. Yes, for the Moodle resource page. So whatever we can find out or any questions we are having, we can just post it and uh, we can get updated. So Manik yeah. has done. Um, I think Manik has already developed this page into some extent. So she can add more things during uh, our uh, forthcoming workshops. And uh, I think uh, better all the uh, members can join to this uh, uh, page uh, with the, uh, with the uh, code that I have given as the student. Uh, so Nadha sir, uh, before the wind up, I would like to invite you to uh, say something on this. Yeah, this is actually that we must thankful to Dr. Manik. Yes, uh, so thank you very much, Dr. Manik. And uh, this is very important. So there are many things we have practiced, but so we need uh, the, the uh, refresh. So what we know, and as, at the same time, we learn some new things also. So thank you very much for that. And I think uh, even for the staff members, we are going for online evaluation. So especially for these question banks and uh, so how to evaluate students, how to minimize uh, student cheating, uh, those things uh, we can practice. So thank you yeah. very much and uh, hope that we can, uh, we can uh, continue the sessions even in future. Yeah. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I would like to thank you and all the um, staff and especially Kaushal as well. Um, it's very, um, it's, it's my pleasure to share all these uh, things with you. Um, and yeah, so I'm happy to continue uh, the session to the next and then we will um, explore further on this. And what I want to say here, all we have sample files you can upload and experiment. It's just you need to, now we need to swim, uh, start trying at least to see, yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Manik. Uh, so uh, we will continue the same with the with the session in the next week. I will send you the uh, details uh, when uh, uh, the what time and the date that we are going to have this. Actually, we have we have planned another two sessions with Manik. So we will continue this session. Uh, so thank you, Manik, for your informative session today, and thank you all of you, the academics. Actually, we uh, we had all together 80 academics for the uh, first hour, and I think for this uh, uh, climate purpose, uh, most of uh, them have uh, uh, gone out. So thank you, everyone. So hope uh, we will meet in next week uh, in the same. Uh, I, I will send you the link and the time. Uh, so, thank you very much, Dr. Manik, and all of you. I will leave the session. Thank you, sir. Kaushi, can you share you, the recording with yes, us? Yes, I, I have the recording. So, I will upload to the uh, the Moodle page that we have created. So, it is uh, okay with you all. Rather than sending in an email, I will upload the session to the uh, the Google, uh, sorry, the Moodle page. Then you can log on to there and you can download the recording. Okay, I will okay, upload okay. it to the Moodle page. You Please enroll uh, at the in the Moodle page, okay? Uh, okay, Kaushal. And, uh, and Kaushal, yeah. Can you yeah. can you open that uh, the discussion forum? Then when we have when we have problems that we can put into that uh, discussion forum, and Manik can answer or other other one can answer that question. Sure. The Manik has the teaching role, so please, Manik, uh, you can open the discussion forum, and within the within the coming week, you can, if you have any questions on this, you can post it. If you have any other questions also, you can post it. Yeah, there is, a, there is already a discussion forum in that uh, page. So we can use that one. So you can subscribe to that one. I you can already there, the one discussion forum, yeah. Yeah, so if you see here, so at the top, I have added discussion forum. So see whether you can, uh, if once you log in, um, with the discussion forum, the thing is that um, you have you can subscribe and unsubscribe, so you can do both. So I have seen wonderful comments here as well. So thank you for submitting your answers here. 
Uh, that will be helpful in the next session. Yes, it will be helpful in the next session. Yes, thank you very much. So I will end the session now. Yeah. Have a lovely weekend, everyone. See you. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you.